Hey there everyone, it is me Chriselle and I am back here again today with another video. As you can tell, today is going to be another stationary haul. <laughs> I think in my last video or maybe on my Instagram, I promised you guys that a huge stationary haul was coming and here it is. It's my Muji slash Daiso haul when I went to Australia in Jan early this year. It was an experience of a lifetime, let me tell you that. And going to Muji after over two years of looking at other YouTubers' channels and their videos and seeing those in America, in Europe, in Asia, be able to go to Muji stores even just once in a while was really cool. And to be there in such a huge store with the most beautiful products ever, so aesthetic was really amazing. I picked up quite a lot of stuff. I tried not to overbuy simply because I was there because I mean I got really excited. So I got what I needed and let me tell you the quality of everything is top notch. Like it is definitely worth the hype. I think people who talk about Muji highly, it's worth it in my opinion. So yeah, I will show you guys all of those items in today's video and the second half is my Daiso haul which I decided to pick up some stickers and some other things for school since in Australia it's cheaper to buy things there like Daiso, there's the costs are cheaper than what they are in New Zealand so might as well make the most of that one thing I will point out is that you, if you are thinking of buying the post-it notes like the sticky notes they're very slim there aren't that many sheets in each pad so you I don't know if you go somewhere and you go to a Muji store and you know that you're not going to be able to come back for a while and you want to stock up on some things, their sticky notes, you'd probably have to buy like a three at least of each to have them for a decent amount of time. I'm savoring mine because I only got one of each different type that I wanted simply because I have a lot of post-it notes already. Um, but yeah, just in terms of the transparent sticky notes and the brown ones, those are definitely stuff that you don't find everywhere. So yeah, I would, I would get a few of those. So if you've watched Muji hauls before, you're probably thinking, I possibly got the 2020 planner, but they were all out of stock when I went. So I have substituted for this um, cover, which I'm going to use with the A5 grid notebooks as you saw earlier as I showed. So that's going to be my substitute as a planner since I wasn't able to get the 2020 emoji planner. Uh, there's a whole funny story about what happened with this, with this whole incident of me trying to get the planner. And I will save that for my What's in My Pencil Case video because it is a slightly long, very confusing story. But I will save it for then, <laughs> so stay tuned for that video. Uh, but yeah, in terms, I've already been using my planner a lot as school has started. And it's very durable, so if you are thinking of getting a planner for Muji or if they're out of stock when you go to get one, these A5 grid notebooks are perfect. They are slim, they're light, um, easy to carry, it's the same size as the Muji planners, um, well as the A5 one, so yeah, not too bad. Also look how cute these scissors are. I feel like they come across as being really unnecessary, but when you have a pencil case that's not plastic, so if you have like a fluffy or a softer fabric pencil case, 
These scissors really help because it doesn't, you know, first of all, it doesn't scratch any of the materials in your pencil case, like your pens and really nice fancy stuff that you don't want to be scratched. Um, they're small, they're compact, and it doesn't tear up the inside of your pencil case either, so they're actually quite useful. Okay, so here I have the Muji retractable gel ink pens. I got two black retractable ones, one navy blue and one gray. And then I also got two black uh, capped pens. They're just not the retractable ones, so yeah. And my dad surprised me when I wasn't looking. He picked up a blue 0 0.38 capped gel pens, so I didn't end up showing them in this video because he surprised me with it later on, but I also have that one too. Moving on to the bigger items, which are the books and binders and refill. Um, Muji paper is something that I've always wanted to try because I've heard a lot of people talk about it as being very, very high quality, and I will not deny that. From all of the books from Muji that I've tried so far, which is pretty much all of them, the paper is very good quality. Um, I would say the B5 5-pack five of notebooks, those, are they thread-bound? Yeah, the thread-bound ones that lay flat, the 5-pack, those have a really waxy finish, which I find quite nice. So those would probably be the books I would recommend for like note-taking and schoolwork, um, even journaling, honestly. The paper is really, really smooth and really nice. The paper in the grid notebooks that I'm showing you here is a little bit thinner. It's not as waxy um, or smooth as this pack. So that's just something I wanted to point out. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but if you are looking for that particular kind of paper, then I would say that the grid notebooks are not that. They just, it's a different texture of paper.
Okay, so here I'm showing you guys this folder that I got and I actually didn't realize that the refill came with it. <laughs> um, at first I thought it was like a display piece and then the folders that were empty were supposed to be somewhere else. And then I realized it actually comes with that refill in it and I haven't used that refill yet so I'm like savoring it because I didn't get any Muji refill because I already have a lot of ones from Daiso at home so I didn't get any. I did pick up this binder uh, mainly because I think it's a bit of a stronger quality than the Daiso ones and I'm probably not going to use this this year. I'll most likely save it for next year. And here I have this A3 tote bag that I got. Um, yeah, I have a little bit of an obsession with collecting tote bags. At the moment, I think I own three. Two from Kiki K and then now one from Muji. I don't know, I just love tote bags. I carry them around um, all throughout my school day. That's where I keep my books because I'm too lazy to hold them in my hand. Yeah, I'll make a whole video talking about lazy hacks for students. <laughs> I've got a lot. <laughs> I'd like to think that the amount of things I got from Muji is pretty minimal, I would say. I don't know, I feel like I got what was reasonable, you know? And yeah, I... Oh, I'm still excited till this day, the fact that I own stuff from Muji. That's, that is how excited I was. Anyway, now moving on to Daiso, which I did not get anything less. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff. And fun fact, I actually went to like three different Daiso stores while we were there. There were like so many around the place. Um, I think I bought all of these. Yeah, these were all from the same store because one of them was really small and they didn't have much. And I think the second time around, I saw this bigger shop and they have like everything there. So that's where I picked up all of these things from. Here you can see I got some like cutter knives um, and that's because I take art this year and we do a little bit of collage, collages and I don't know like just sometimes these craft knives come in handy and the ones that we use in our class are really big and they tend to run out like a lot of people go to get them and then you have to wait for somebody else so having just one of these small ones in my pencil case is just really handy and actually I found them to be really useful with my bullet journal like when it comes to cutting out pictures and stuff it's a lot more precise than using scissors so I like them a lot for that some brush pens and I couldn't help myself I already have like I think yeah I had like two or three already at home of these kind of um, smaller brush pens like just the black ones that you can keep in your pencil case somewhere but I decided to try this one because it's zebra and not Tombow and it's really good the nib is very soft though um, so if you're new to calligraphy it will take some time getting used to I personally struggle a little bit with it, but it's worth it because the ink is pitch black. It is a very smooth, 
rich ink. It's, it's lovely. Definitely a top quality item from Daiso. I've actually tried this same glue tape, like the exact same kind of one, from Daiso, from the Daiso that is here in New Zealand near me. And I loved it and I used it up so fast <laughs> that <laughs> it, um, yeah, it just ran out really quickly. So I decided to pick up one while I was there in Aussie. And yeah, this is really useful. I would say use it sparingly unless you're able to get refills I don't do they have refills for these if you do know if they have refills comment it down below and where you can get them because I don't know I don't want to have to keep buying new ones like I would like to open it up and just refill it you know just I don't know if, if you do happen to know if refills for glue tape exist please let me know in the comments below I would really appreciate it and yeah, here I have just a keychain that I picked up last minute while I was going to check out. Um, and I actually put it on my pencil case now. It looks super cute and I will show you that in my What's My Pencil Case video to come. I picked up these two really thick paged um, notebooks that are grid from Daiso as well because, well, from last year, I don't know if I showed this on a vlog last year, but my math books would get used up really quickly, so I got these solely for math. <laughs> and also the other two A5, not A5, but B5 grid notebooks that I got from Muji, those are also for math. So. I will let you guys know by the end of the year if I end up using all four of those grid books for math because I have a feeling that will happen, but that's to see. Anyway, I have here this folder that has all these really cute cats on it and these little quotes and it's so cute and I'm obsessed. <laughs> oh my gosh. They had so many cute folders actually at Daiso with all these cute puppies and animals and designs on them. This is a really good quality folder as well and I will be using this to keep at home with all of my important worksheets. So like let's say I get the course outline for the subject or um, I'm actually doing French online this year so I do require to keep a folder with all the important papers for my assessments and everything so they don't get lost. And so yeah, that's what I'm using this folder for. Oh boy, that was a lot of stuff. I, oh my gosh, yeah, that was a really fun time. Honestly, my little stationary heart was so happy. <laughs> that whole experience was just amazing. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, comment down below what your favorite item was from this video or what you'd like to get eventually if you're going stationary shopping anytime soon. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!